Let's start by creating a new project folder. I'm going to go to File, Project, and then New. Over here, we're going to call this Miniman Project Folder. And then over here, I'm going to change the location to Exercise Files. And then um, over here, let's use the defaults and then hit accept. All right, so now I'm going to minimize Maya and I'm just going to bring up a new finder window. And over here in exercise files, I'm going to double click on Miniman project folder. And then I'm going to double click on source images. Okay. I need a second finder window, so I'm going to hit command N, N for new. And I'm just going to go over here to my pictures folder and I'm going to find the Miniman side view, front view, and top view. I'm going to select all three of these files, right click, go to copy three items right here. And then over here in source images for the project folder, I'm going to right click and go to paste items. All right, I'm going to close these finder windows and go back to Maya. All right, let's start by adding some reference planes. So I'm going to click on the plane right here, go over here to the channel box, go to polyplane 1 and change the subdivisions width and height to 1. And then I'll change the width and height to 10. And we have our first plane. And I'll just go up here and let's name this top view plane. All right, now I'm going to hit Command D and I'm going to rotate this up into the front view and I'll change my rotate X value to 90. And we'll name this front view plane. Okay, and then I'll hit Command D again and I'm going to rotate along the Z axis. So, I'm sorry, rotate Y. That's going to be negative 90. All right, I'm going to hit 6 in all four panels. And let's move these over a little bit. So this is going to go, translate x is going to be negative 5. This is going to be, translate z is going to be negative 5. And this one, the top plane is going to be, translate y will be negative 5. I'm going to turn off the grid in these views just for now. Hit Q for my selection tool, and I'll go to Window, Rendering Editors, and then Hypershade. I'm going to create three new Lamberts, so I'm just going to click one, two, three. I'll start with Lambert 2 right here, so I'll double click, and let's name this um, Top Ref. Matt. And let's see, I'm going to go over here to my color attribute, click on this little checkered box right here, and then click over here on File. Over here under Image Name, I'll click on this folder, and we're looking for Miniman Top View. I'll hit Open. Now I'm going to hold down the middle mouse button, drag over to the Top View Reference Plane, and drop. There it goes. Now I'm going to double click on Lambert 3 and let's rename this to Front Ref Matte. And over here under Color, check out, click on the checkered box, go to File. Over here under Image Name, click on this folder. Click on Front View and then hit Open. Hold down the middle mouse button, drag over to the front view reference plane in your panel here. And there's our front view. All right, I'm going to double click on Lambert 4. And let's go to the name right here. And this is going to be Side Ref Matt. 
All right, I'll click once on this button right here. Click on File. Over here under Image Name, I'll click on the folder. And we'll do Side View, and then hit Open. All right, let's take the side reference right here and drag it on. And I will close the hypershade. And I will go back to my channel box right here. I'm going to take this reference plane right here. And I'm going to rotate it along Y to, I'm going to change that to positive 90. And uh, I'm just going to get rid of the grid for a second here. So this is our, um, our three reference planes. I'm going to select all three of these. And then go right here and add these objects to a new layer. I'll double click on layer one and call this ref layer. Hit save. Now normally at this stage, this is when I'd go to the layer and click on this empty box to turn it to a reference. However, I can see that the side view and the top view images don't line up. So that was a mistake that I made when I drew the reference images. So instead of going back and removing them and redrawing them and stuff, I'm just going to create a, um, a cube. And I can see right here, this is not centered, uh, so I'll turn on my grid right here. You can see the reference image is not centered, so let's start. I'm going to click and drag a box around all three of these, and let's go to the front view here, and I'll hit W. I'm going to move everything over, and basically what I'm looking for is I want this black line to be right in between the two eyes, right there. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm, just, I'm going to just scale this in and I will move it over a little bit to line up. I'll scale it in a little more. All right, so I'm going to go to, I'm going to right click, go to face select this face, hit extrude, and go up. All right, so now what I have here is basically I've just got a basic shape and now I can see, let's go into window rendering editors hypershade and let's create um, another Lambert and create a transparent material. So I'll just change the color here, and I'll move, move the transparency up. And I'm going to drag this onto that object. Close the hypershade. I'm going to turn on wireframe on shaded in each of the panels. So right now, this shape is kind of in the middle of the torso in the front view. It's in the middle of the torso in the side view, but the top view is not lined up. So I'm going to click on not the object but this reference plane and I'm gonna hit W and I'm gonna move it forward here and basically what I wanna do is I wanna just line up this shape right here so if I scale this out I wanna line it up with the arms so you can see here um, I might move the reference plane here. So now I've selected this side reference plane. I might move it over a tiny bit. Okay. So I'm going to scale this back in. And now I can kind of gauge that I have my reference planes all lined up with the kind of the core of Miniman's body. So once again, um, it's just because I made a mistake when I lined up these drawings. So in the, when you draw them, it, it helps to, to get that right at the beginning because it saves time later. You don't have to line up all these images. You just drop them onto the reference planes and start modeling. So now I need to bring my channel box back. And over here in the layer editor, I'm just going to click twice so that an R shows up to turn that to reference. And now I can no longer move any of these 
reference planes. All right, so let's get started with the modeling process here. So I'm going to turn off the grid here. And I'm going to right click on this and go to vertex. And I'm going to select these vertices, the four vertices towards the top of the shape. Hit W, move them down. I'll select the, the, the vertices right in the middle here and move up a little bit. So I'm going to switch over here to my front panel and I want to focus on the top of this object. So the vertices at the top shouldn't go higher than the arms in the drawing there. So it should just reach the bottom of those arms. So then I'm going to go over here to the um, face right here on the top and I'll extrude this up. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to hit Q and I will start to shape this a little bit. So I'm going to move these vertices on the four, uh, all these vertices towards the top right here. I'm going to move them out a little bit. I'll move these out a tiny bit. Maybe come down a little bit right here. And then over here, I'll scale, I'll scale these two this set of vertices out a little. Maybe scale this in and then move it over. Okay. Let's take this and move this all out and take this side and move those right here. And maybe I'll take the waist and go up a little bit here. Take this corner, move it in. So before I go any further, I'm going to split this torso right down the middle. So I'm going to right click and go to object mode. And just for a moment, I'm going to turn off my reference layer. And I'm going to turn on the grid. And now what I want to do is I just want to add an edge loop going right through the center of this object. So I'll go to edit mesh and go to insert edge loop tool and insert it right here in the center. And just to make sure I'm right on the lines there, I'm going to select all of these vertices here, hold down X, hit W, hold down X, and snap. So you see if it's over here, I can hold down X, snap to that line. All right, I'll go back to object mode now. And I'll turn my reference images back on. Over here, I'll turn the grid off. All right. So let's go, let's select the faces down here on the bottom. And I'm going to hit extrude and go down and then scale in. I'm going to, let's see here. I'm going to add one more edge loop. So I'll go to Edit Mesh, Insert Edge Loop Tool, and add one right here. And let's scale that out. OK, that looks good. All right, um, let's see. I'm going to go in here, vertex, and select these two vertices and scale them in. And then right here, I'm going to select, actually, let's leave that for later. I'm going to select the faces at the top. And I'm going to hit extrude, and go up, and scale in. And then let's check. That looks like it's a pretty even square shape right there. So I will just check over here. And it looks like I could scale this in a little bit. Yeah. All right. So let's extrude up for the neck. So I'm going to take this extrusion and go up to right where the head meets the neck right here. Then I'll hit extrude again, 
and go up to the top of the head. And then let's see, we need to extrude out. So I'll select the two faces on the front. I know this shape looks pretty strange. This long, super long neck right here looks pretty strange, but we're gonna change that into the head. So in working with this shape, it's really important to keep the edge loops at a low count while we first start to shape the head. So let's extrude those faces out. Okay. And now I'm going to take four faces, one, two, three, four, and extrude these out. All right, now I'm going to add some edge loops. I'll go to Insert Edge Loop Tool, and I'll add two edge loops, just dividing the top head shape into thirds. All right, so now we've got a block head. <laughs> so we need to come in here and start to shape this. So I'm going to start by selecting the edges in the corners here. So I hit F to frame it, and I'm going to hit R, and I'm going to scale these in first along the x-axis and then along the z-axis. And then let's take the three edges on the very center, in the front and back, and let's scale them out slightly, just a tiny bit. All right. So let's come up over here to the front panel and I'll select the vertices on both sides here and move them down. And I'll select this vert this set of vertices in the center, move them up a little bit. And then I'm going to take everything and move it all down. Take these here scale them in a little bit and let's take the corners here so hold down shift to select both sides and move them up a little bit and then scale them in I'm gonna take this uh, edge loop right here row of vertices and I'm gonna move them down and then I'm gonna select these two rows of vertices and scale them out Okay, so I'm going to go over here to the side panel and I'm going to select this section right here. So kind of in the middle towards the back and then move these back. I'm going to select one, two, three, this section right here in the corner, move it down. Select the three vertices going, or the three sets of vertices going in this corner and move it down. And same thing with this corner, move it over. I'm going to take these two vertices here, move those down. I'm going to take this and move it down a little bit further. Okay, so I want to round out the head just a little bit more. So I'm going to go back to Edge here. So I'll hit Q for my selection tool. I'm going to select, there's three edges kind of still, you can still kind of see that we started with a rectangle or cube shape. Just going to select 12 edges here. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to hit R for my scale tool and scale in a little bit more. 
on the z-axis and then a little more on the x-axis just to round out that head a tiny bit more. All right, I'm going to take these edges here, these two edges here in the back towards the top, and hit W and move them down. Okay. All right, I'm going to right click and go to object mode and I'm just going to save this right now. So I'll go to file, save scene as, and I'll title this Miniman stage one and hit save. Okay. In the next video, we will delete one side of this object and do a duplicate special and then continue on with the arms and the legs.